Well guys, just over here is an old house and there's a nice old horse cart so we'll head over there and I'll go and show you. And just here is a beautiful old sunshine uh, harvester. It'd be close to a hundred years old this one. Um, would have been pulled by either bullocks or uh, horses like Clydesdale horses. So it's a beautiful piece of machinery this one. Just sitting here, you know, obviously the, when um, the farmer brought his first, you know, machine machine operated uh, tractor or harvester or whatever, obviously he's just parked up his old sunshine harvester and it's stayed here ever since. The stories this machine could tell. Well, just over here, guys, is some old farm machinery. Thought I'd stop and we're going to have a look. Beautiful old, um, it's like a plough or something like that. Love the tractor seat. Beautiful big tractor seat that one is. So, just over here, guys, it's a nice old horse cart. You see this here used to be where the old shed is, the old work shed. Be about 100 years ago, you can see how crudely made it was. Um, they wouldn't have had tin back in the days when they made this shed. As you can see just over here, there's all sticks laying on the ground. Just over there, see, so all those sticks there would have been used um, as a replacement for the tin. So this whole shed area would have been covered in bush. So inside that shed, on a hot summer's day, it'd be like a beautiful cool air-conditioned house with the breeze just blowing gently through um, the sticks and so forth. So it's pretty crudely made as I just said but it's still it would have done the job. See the sea guys and beautiful old wagon wheels. Same goes with the wagon wheels, we farmer upgraded his machinery and they've been sitting here ever since. Um, not many of you guys know what this is used for or was used for about a hundred years ago. Well basically guys this is an old um, like hollow gum tree and they've used this, um, they've um, adapted this um, back in the old days to clear the land. So this here would have been towed by bullocks or whatever, bullocks or horses or whatever. And the farmer would have used that piece of um, log here to clear the land. So back in the old days, 100 years ago plus, this area was totally covered in bush for as far as the eye can see so all of those um, like for example that gum tree we can see in the left of the screen and the ones in the middle of the screen those beautiful gum trees would have just completely covered this whole area for probably you know hundreds and hundreds of kilometers and then you know the uh, land was cleared by the farmers um, and that was just one of the ways they cleared the land using those old hollow logs. So the whole would have been towed, like I said, by the bullocks. And the hollow log, that big heavy hollow log, would have just went straight over small trees, and you know just smashed them to pieces, whatever. So they also cleared the land as well using. Um, you know, massive heavy chains what would be towed by um, proper um, motor powered machinery came they just used like two tractors and um, extended the whole chain out to one like say for example 200 meters two tractors worked together as a team and that big chain would just get dragged along the ground 
ripping up all of the trees not big massive trees like those ones but small trees like these ones and so that was a way of clearing the land back in the old days well, it's a pretty bit of history for you So just here guys is um, basically the remains of a really small horse cart. So it's all complete, so all you really got to do if, to say someone wanted to do up a piece of machinery like this is just replace all those wooden bits and bring it up like brand new. And like I've said in previous videos, guys, if you're driving around, keep an eye look out for the non-native species of trees. Um, this here looks like to be a fig tree. Yes, it is. It's a fig tree. So these are beautiful figs. Just tell you, they'll be ripe in probably another couple of months. Really big, nice, juicy figs. So when I'm when I need some figs, guys, I'll be <laughs> heading out here. Not that I eat them, but they are nice. And this is the remains of the old house just over here. And I have been metal detecting out here before, but I haven't uh, really found that much. Also because a lot of this area here has been dug up for some reason. So if they've dug it up, they've dumped the coins in these piles of soil and so forth. So found a few nice bottles, but not many coins. But there is a little bottle dump just over um, where those trees are in the distance, heaps of broken glass, and as you know me, I love finding the old broken glass because I always find plenty of coins and stuff. So I'm just right next to the house at the moment, fellas, and the house is just over there. But anyway, I thought I'd give a bit of info about this. So back in the old days, when the early settlers arrived, or um, before they could pipe water or tap water, the farmers made this into a, like a little drinking um, gathering spot to gather up fresh rainwater. So anyway fellas, the farmer would have made this hole in the ground. It's basically like granite, the rock. So it's a granite type rock. So they've made themselves a little um, drinking um, spot for gathering up fresh rainwater. So to make this hole, the farmer would have just drilled a hole in this granite or drilled you know three or four holes using a hand powered drill into the hard granite put a couple of sticks of dynamite in and they would have blown this hole just to for purely for the purpose of gathering fresh rainwater for the farmer and his family and around the area in Dombiong where I come from this granite rock is absolutely everywhere um, you'll come across areas where there's beautiful massive big hills covered in um, just granite hills. I'll take you out there one day and I'll show you. So anyway guys, so obvious, obviously now it's not used but it does still fill up with water and the sheep come here and drink the water and so forth and frogs and um, breed and and yeah, no, it's pretty interesting. So it would be pretty deep um, obviously before the when it rains it fills in really quickly before the bloody dirt and soil and leaves and everything else. So back in the old days it would have been a hard job, you know, maybe the farmer's son would have come out here and or it would have been one of his chores or his jobs of the day to make sure that this area would be always clean, you know. Very important. They wouldn't <laughs> they wouldn't want to get bloody uh, like waterborne food poisoning or anything like that. So one of the most important jobs in the household would have been for that son or the daughter to always ensure that this hole would be f um, free of leaves, soil and bugs and all that kind of crap. Alright guys. Bah.